I never thought that I would be recognised as an achiever. I certainly didn't see myself as inspirational. But in 2007, I received the first ever Celebrate You Award from the Network for Women in Daring. This award is for dairy women who have stepped outside their comfort zone and pushed themselves just that little bit further to achieve successes in their lives. If I hadn't liked being in the limelight before, I certainly ended up there after receiving this award. The media interest was overwhelming and the opportunities that have come my way since have been great. It's funny what people think. They assume that I must have a university education to have achieved what I have. I am often asked, did you go to Lincoln or Massey? The answer is neither. The truth is, I left school at 15 because my teachers said I would never achieve anything, but I returned at age 23 to sit school certificate as I had decided that I wanted to train as a beauty therapist. Not long after that, I married Pete. We started our pathway toward farm ownership, and in 2002 we brought into an equity partnership in Tuatapere Southland, and made the move with our three children. In 2006, I became a trustee for the network, and in 2007, I was asked to convene the Network for Women in Daring conference held in Invercargill. Even though I had butterflies in my stomach, I took a deep breath and got up in front of the audience. This is a huge achievement for me, as I don't normally like to be the centre of attention. As part of my role, however, I was required to chair committee meetings in the lead up to the conference. I also had to be spokesperson for the committee, which meant I was required to speak in front of 150 plus people, and I don't like public speaking. Today, however, I do speak at various functions, dairy and non-dairy related, and have been approached to join other trust boards. Along with my role as a trust board member, I still work on the farm alongside Pete and work part-time as a beauty therapist. What I like most about my new role is that I can draw on lessons learned from wonderful women like my mother, as well as other dairy women who have been an inspiration. I try to be like a sponge and soak up as much information as I can so that I can pass inspiration I get from them to others. Throughout my life I have sub subconsciously set goals that in the past I never would have told other people about my goals for the fear of failure. I now realise that what might be seen in some people's eyes as failure is seen as achievement in other people's eyes. I guess this is one of the life's lessons in learning and it's all part of the celebration of me.